In this video, we will learn how to set pivot range in Excel sheet. This is my Excel sheet. To create pivot table, go to the Insert tab. Then click on the pivot table option. Here you see the from table range option. Just click on it. The table range is automatically selected here. We will see if after creating the pivot table, the range of table updates automatically when you add any column or row in data or if you can set it manually in the pivot table analysis tab. So let's see how it's done. So to create pivot table, click on the new worksheet, click on the OK. Here I just create the pivot table, select the product ID in row values in profit okay here we will learn how to set the pivot range so if i want to after create the pivot table add some column so i'm go to the my data and add here two columns so i just enter the name a and b this a and b i distribute the profit to both persons 40 percent to a and balance to 60% is B. Okay, and just use a simple calculation here and just drag this calculation in full data. Okay, now I want to add this column also in my pivot table. When you see here the column not show here, okay, I just refresh it still column is not show for adding the extra column in your pivot table field sir so go to the pivot table analysis in data group click on the change data source click on the change data source here you see you can select here the range of table just click on it Okay. click on it to remove this range first and click uh, select the range of your table full table click again click on ok now just refresh it and here you see a b is added now you can add here your column this is the first way you can set your range of pivot if you add any column so this, there is a second way, instead of add your column in data, after the table finished, means last from last column L, instead of adding from last table, after the last column, you can add your column in between the table. So you do not need to go the pivot table analysis and change your source. It's automatically set the pivot take automatically this column also. So let's see. I just add here one column. And here I add second one. Okay. I just give them name A, G and H. Okay. Now I just see in pivot table G. Not show here because I am not refresh it. So I just refresh this pivot table. Now see G and H show here because why this show here and not show in A, B, G, H and H column, I add it in between the pivot table range. If I add it any column after the pivot table range is from the last column, so this column is not taken by pivot range not taken by automatically by pivot range if you create any column in between the table then pivot take automatically this range this is a simple thing most of the people don't know some of the create the column in last and then change their source of data range this is a take too, too much time instead of add the column from last column of your table you can add in between the table you don't need to again change your the range of selection 
सो होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू लाइक दिस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच